Good morning, Simon Trade here. You join me at Rugey Trent Valley Railway Station because today I'm off on another railway journey. And our railway journey is actually going to take us to the snow part of the West Coast Main Line, the Northampton Loop. The Northampton Loop is actually served by London Northwestern Railway trains and freight trains, but today we're going down there for one specific thing diversions. I do love diverted traffic and unusual workings. And today we're going to be seeing a lot of Banty West Coast trains on the Northampton Loop. So the map on screen now is showing between Rugby and Wolverton on the West Coast Bay Line. When the London and Birmingham Railway were looking how to plan their route in 1830, they did look at Northampton, but the reason they were against go by Northampton was due to an engineering decision by Robert Stevenson, as the gradients were very different. So this led to the London and Birmingham Railway going by Blissworth and Weedon, which is today's fast lines on the West Coast Bay Line which are Banty West Coast services take between Warburton and Rugby. During filming this video, the lines between Warburton and Rugby by Weedon were closed. I shall talk in detail why they're closed, where about Long Buckby Station later on in the video. So we talked about why the London and Birmingham Railway did not go by Northampton. But we're going to talk about the Northampton Loop itself now. Northampton Station came first on the loop, which opened in 1859. But most of the stations along the loop were opened in 1881 when the Northampton Loop opened to traffic and these stations were Killsbury and Crick, Long Buckby, Alford Park then 32 years later a new station called Church Branton opened but Church Branton was also the first station to close on the loop as well in 1931. Killsbury and Crick and Alford Park closed in 1960 which led to Long Buckby and Northampton as the only stations on the loop. Now let's get back on track and start the journey to Northampton. So I'm now waiting for the 1005 London Northwestern Railway service. Now this usually goes to London Euston but because of the extra capacity on the Northampton loop with the Atlantic West Coast services, the crew London Euston services have been cut back to rugby. So we're actually catching this service to rugby because this service will terminate at rugby. I honestly forgot that this train actually arrives at 10.01. Sits here for four minutes at Rooster Trent Valley Railway Station. But the front unit is 350.248 to 350.2, no thanks. So we're actually on the rear four coaches, which is 350.410. Anyway, we're leaving now to head to Rugby. So now at Rugby Railway Station, we're here to change trains for the 1058 London Northwestern Railway Service to Northampton. This service actually terminates at Northampton Railway Station. And Rugby is actually one of these stations that I don't like about, which I'll explain later on in the video. Anyway, our train's now coming in now to take us to Northampton.
Both stations on this line opened in 1881, apart from Church Branton, which opened later on. But this station I'm actually standing at was actually opened even earlier than all those stations. This station opened on the 16th of February 1859, and this is Northampton Castle Station, when opened by the London North Western Railway from their line for Market Harborough. Now, you wonder where is the castle? We're actually standing on Northampton Castle. They've knocked it down to build the railway station here. But between 1880 and 1881, they actually rebuilt this station when the Northampton Loop opened. And the free station code for Northampton is MNP. However though, Northampton is an absolute pay the backside station because you've got trains from London New Street that terminate here, you've got trains from Birmingham New Street that terminate here and you've literally got to be all over the place in Northampton so we're only focusing at the North End today because the main reason we're at Northampton station is the Abanti West Coast services that diverted through here. Another problem with Northampton Railway Station is it actually has five platforms. Behind me here is Platform 1 that I'm standing on, Platforms 2 and 3. But just behind me here where I'm pointing at is Platforms 4 and 5. And they're terminus platforms. Okay, so I told it all lie. You did actually have time to get down to the other end of Northampton Station to fill the 12.25 to London Euston, which started here, which was 12 coaches. Anyway, we are leaving Northampton Station now because we are catching the 12.38 London Northwestern Railway Service along Buckby Station. And when we get to Long Buckby Station, the trains actually speed more through Long Buckby than they do at Northampton Station. The train speed, I think the advantages are due through here is about 20 miles per hour. Anyway, let's jump on that train now and leave Northampton.
Now, unfortunately, we did get here a bit late because our train out of Northampton left about seven minutes late because of the congestion of the Avanti services on the Northampton route and freight trains. This is why the crew services the London Euston terminate at Rugby because you just can't cope with the capacity on the Northampton route when Avanti West Coast on this line. Because the Banty West Coast usually go by Weezer on the fast lines. But this station that I'm at is actually opens on the 1st of December 1881 by the London and North Western Railway. This is the Long Buckby Railway Station, four miles from Daventry. And the station that code for this is LBY. This is how crazy Long Buckby is with the Abanti diverts at the moment. When a train passes, you look at real time trains and open time trains, and you just see a train literally at the next signal way to come through the station. You just don't have time to catch a breather. There is something that I actually want to show you as well. Behind me here is a 4 and 8 car board, but if you notice they're actually in the colour purple. Now the reason they're in the colour purple because they're actually in a train operating company called Silverlinks Livery. Because Silverlink used to run services from Birmingham New Street to London Euston by Northampton. They also ran services on the Watford DC line, the Goblin line, but they were really over the place at the time before they merged with central trains to form London Midland. Now the question is, why is the Banty West Coast services diverting on the Northampton route by a Long Buckby and Northampton? There is a simple question to that because if you think back to last year when they did lockdown commuter blocks during the third lockdown, had to get replaced with buses from Rugey Trev Valley to Stafford. Now the reason was because there was flooding on the West Coast Bay Line and it caused the landslip at Hillmorton Junction. And what they're doing for engineer works on the West Coast Bay Line by Weezer is they're actually future proofing it from flooding and that's why they're sending all the traffic through Northampton because they're future proofing the West Coast May Line from flooding. Engineer works basically. I'm going to change the plan a bit slightly because I can do this. I was planning to leave Long Buckby on the 1350 to Birmingham New Street but getting off at Rugby. Now I'm going to leave that train because I'm going to catch the 1407 off here which is the London Euston to Birmingham New Street so it still gets off at Rugby because when I get off at Rugby I've only got like 20 minutes to wait for my train to crew which gets me to Rushi Trev Valley. So I'm going to hold off for a bit, get a few more Banty West Coast services flying through here and then get the 1407 instead of the 1350 and that gives us over an hour at Long Buckby Station.
So I made it back to Rugby Station to change trains for the 1438 London North Western Railway service to Crewe to get me back to Bruce Trent Valley. And it's actually just right behind me here. 350-121 and 350-264 will take me back to Rugeley. Before I jump on my train, I just want to point out that I actually do not like this railway station. If you're filming one train here, you're fine. But if you're filming multiple trains, like doing a train of rugby video, it's just not a good idea because the station is just too wide. Platforms 4, 5 and 6 are on that side and platforms 1 and 2 on this side. There is also a platform 3 but it's a plane platform down the southern end of the station. It's just horrible to film trains at rugby here because you're going to be back and forth over the place. Anyway, jump on the train now, leave rugby, head back to Rugeley. So now I made it back to Rushi Trent Valley Railway Station and honestly I can't really fault anything that went bad today because everything went to plan, kind of. The only thing that I can say that I really can't fault was we left Northampton seven minutes late to get to Long Buckby. And when I got to Long Buckby I made that time up by staying a bit later at Long Buckby to catch the 1407 London North Western Railway service to Rugby because I had time at Rugby anyway to catch the train back to Rushi Trent Valley. So, there wasn't really nothing bad that happened. The highlight of the day, I would say we saw a class 768 electric multiple unit, which is technically a class 319 electric multiple unit, being converted for parcel use. But the main thing we did get today was the Banty West Coast services diverting on the North Hampton Loop. And it is one of those things that I would recommend you should do if there are any more future diverts on North Hampton Loop. Just go out for the day, film the trains there, but just be aware, it's a complete cluster of trains. Because every time I filled the train log, Buckby passing through, there was one raid to come through next. And that's why the Northampton Loop was at maximum capacity. And that's also the reason why the crew to London Euston services have to terminate at Rugby. Which is annoying, but it's understandable. Because that line was just maximum capacity, because you've got express trains, stopping services and freight on that line. And without further ado, I would say it has really been a successful day. So on screen now is a card coming up if you want to watch it on Railway Journey. Feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I have been Simon Trace. I'll see you for the next Railway Journey. Music